Hi, this is part two of rewriting your personal story. Stories are really powerful. The stories that we embrace in our life. Our personal stories help to define who we are. Now, there is a situation when we start to change our story. Let's say we have been living in a story that's been very negative. And in the last video, I call it the big lie on some of the stuff that went into our story. What stops most people from changing their story to something that's more empowering. And they don't look at it that way, at least not initially. They may even want big things. They may want to dream, yet it's their story that keeps them stuck. Why do they get stuck to those old stories filled with beliefs that keep them bogged down, disempowered? Well, there are scientific reasons for it. There's a fear. Recent studies had come out that they said the base fear of all fears is the fear of the unknown. When we know what we know, when we're comfortable with what we know, going into that, oh my gosh, that unknown, we have our dreams over here. And by the way, the dreams is part of the unknown, but we also have this other unknown. We're scared. We don't move forward in our life. We're afraid of what we may lose. And I wanna ask you, what will you lose? What will you lose if you change your story? Think about it. Will you lose your relationships? A lot of your relationships are part of your, your story now. If you were to change it, will they go away? Will they no longer fit to a new story? One that you create. One that you create towards a dream, a mission. Will you lose a lot of other things in your life? That's gonna be the fear that's gonna stop you. Because what are you gonna lose? Instead of focusing on what will you gain? When you create your story, you're gonna gain something and you're gonna lose something. And by the way, when I talk about gaining, why do you stay stuck in your current story? And what are you benefiting from that story? There's always that benefit that keeps you bogged down. And here's the thing about stories. And it doesn't matter how much money that falls upon you. If you're stuck in an old story with all these repeating patterns, and I see this time and again with people in relationships, they tend to go from the same relationship to the same relationship to the same relationship it's gonna be the same relationship with money. And that's one of the reasons that the average lottery winner will become bankrupt in two years after winning the lottery because they're stuck in an old story, that repeating pattern. So they'll lose everything. I had a friend that happened to where he lost everything after winning the lottery. I have other people that I know that have lost everything after inheriting millions of dollars. And they lost it in a very short time. Very short time. Think about your story. Again, answer those questions. What are you benefiting from your current story? And what do you stand to lose if you rewrite your story and you work towards it, to that new story? If you really want to have that new story in your life, if you want to go after your dreams, have a bigger goal, have a personal mission, then it starts with changing your story. Now, go do it. I'm available. One of the things I'm currently working on, a coaching program that's going to help you to rewrite your whole story, to take you to that next level, to embrace your new story, to build this discard those old patterns, your old beliefs that are stuck in that story, those hidden beliefs that yet that are yet to be uncovered. It's time for you to go after that new life. It's been Bob Choate, and I believe in you, your dreams. It's up to you to do the same thing.